Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl A, and I'm back to do another one of these bomb ass wigs from Genesis Wigs. Y'all know they got the crystal lace, girl, you know that lace that you can just absolutely see through, melts right into your flesh, hunties. So this one right here is a Yaki Straight 360 Lace Frontal. Hunties comes with combs inside also comes with one of those removable black elastic bands So that way you can make your wig so tight Also an adjustable strap as well in the nape girls if you have not checked out Genesis wigs Make sure you do so in the meantime while I cut this lace. I'm gonna show you how your wig comes So I wanted to show you guys their website really quick. They have loads of different units that you can choose from, from 360s, lace fronts, closure wigs, they have it all. And they also have the crystal lace. So this one is the Yaki Straight 360 Frontal. And as you guys can see, you can pull it up in a high ponytail if you choose to. It comes in a variety of lengths as well as a couple of different densities. And you can also choose from crystal or regular lace. Me, I prefer crystal and also you can use the copeland code to save 15 percent at time of checkout so make sure you check out their website i'll leave the information down below and as you see here this is just a comparison of their crystal lace against the transparent lace great lace meltable and definitely unnoticeable so i'm gonna just go ahead and put this unit on i really do like Genesis wigs a lot their lace is really bomb as heck and it is very transparent now this one here I haven't done a 360 unit in some time you guys like seriously some time not saying that I'm not a huge fan of the 360s but you know to me it is what it is I can still put my ponytail up high in a regular lace frontal but for those of you who want a little bit more coverage girl you can check them out this one already came semi bleached but I did go ahead and bleach it a little bit more did I no I didn't I'm lying okay so it already came bleached so I didn't have to do anything to this one I just took it out the box straight out the box and this is what it is using some of my wax stick and a hot comb that will allow the hair to lay a lot more flatter flusher to the hairline so that way it's not all humped and bumped it just lay you know straight and sleek girl but when you are doing this method right here with the hot comb me take it from me get you a nice block mannequin head so that way you can do it on the mannequin and you can really definitely press into the unit so this is the part where it's time to cut the lace I do prefer to use clips because I don't want any of the hair getting in the way and you definitely will need a pair of scissors I do see a lot of people using bigger scissors. It's definitely up to your preference. I'm gonna be using these thread snips right here, which you can get off of Amazon. I find them a lot easier versus like really big scissors. But you know, this is your preference, it's up to you. And I just went ahead and cut the lace, making sure that it's not too, too close to the hairline, but not visible. But with this crystal lace, you don't have to worry. Like I said, it was pre-bleached already and it was semi-plucked uh, as well for more natural hairline. I don't think this is one of the clean hairlines, but the hairline looks really, really good on this unit. So now what I'm going to just do is flip that up in the front and get my old handy dandy favorite hairspray, which is the Aussie Instant Freeze. You can find this anywhere for super duper affordable prices as low as 3 to $4. 
and I go ahead and spray one coat onto my hairline or right in the front of my forehead and I allow it to dry and it does dry pretty fast and then what I'll do once that the first layer has dried I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on once again this will give an amazing hold and you just want to allow it to dry to a tacky kind of like substance and I'm gonna show you guys how tacky this does get with this particular hairspray. I know a lot of people do prefer the got to be, but freeze glue or freeze blast, but I prefer this one right here. Now, as you see, it is pretty darn tacky if you see right here. And this is the good consistency to apply your wig with. And I'm just gonna show you that one more time, okay? And I'm just gonna pull that down. Now for some units, you definitely don't need to use a blow dryer if you don't have one on hand. But for the video purposes, sometimes I use the blow dryer, sometimes I don't. Just depends on the mood that I'm in. Now with Crystal Lace, it is a lot thinner, so it definitely will dry super fast. Now I just take my rat tail comb and I press it into the edges going behind the hair. As you see right here, I am behind the hair and I'm just pressing that comb into the lace and downwards along with a cool to medium heat blow drying temperature. Make sure you get all of the sides and edges so that way your wig doesn't lift. This hold will give you about a two day hold. It does say 24 hours, but I do believe that is for when you are using it to style your curls and hold curls. This hairspray is amazing. I've been using it forever, you guys, like seriously forever. So now what I'm doing is just creating some sideburns. I do really prefer some sideburn hairs and just one little swoopity swoop of a baby here. This is definitely not necessary for this unit. As you guys can see, it is very meltable and such. Now, if you do want to go back in and bleach it a little bit more, you can do so. But I just left it as it was. It could have used a little bit more bleaching at the roots, but I didn't want to add any more bleach as I didn't want it to seep through the... I'm going to be using the Isha Absolute Luxury Brand Styling Edge Mousse, which is by the Janet Collection. And you can find this in your local beauty supply stores. It really does work great for any unit. It definitely will hold your flyaways down as well as the edges down and baby hairs. Alright guys, so this is the part where I'm just going to put some heat to this unit, you know, put a little curls using my hairspray by Aussie Instant Freeze. This will definitely hold your curls for quite some time, especially for this type of hair. And all I do is just spray some of it onto the hair and then comb it through and then use my curling wand and definitely use a clip or a pin of some sort to hold the hair until it cools down. This will allow your curls to hold a lot longer versus them dropping automatically. Now if you don't want a tight curl then you don't have to use a pin but I highly suggest, highly highly recommend doing this for yakky or kinky texture hair. And then I allow it to cool for like about 5 to 10 minutes after I've pinned it and then I'll just finger comb it out, use some of the hairspray as well as that I will take a hair pick to comb through it just so that way I don't disturb all of the curls. The hair is very textured, a very nice light yakky kind of texture. Kind of reminds me of yakky or kinky hot press, but very, very nice. And this is what it looks like down, decent length. You know, this is like a really nice unit. You can definitely wear this to different type of events, as well as putting it up in a ponytail. Girl, if you want to look cute every day, then this hair will definitely suit your everyday cuteness needs. I'm telling you guys, look at that hairline, very decent, fresh, crystal lace, baby. Now I just take the comb, or rather the tangler brush. I like, I love this brush. You can get these on Amazon, but it doesn't take all of the curl out. I just like the way it brushes through the hair. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I could have went ahead and pre-plugged the hairline a little bit more, and I wish I would have done so, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and part the hair right here, and then I'm going to put it up in a bun and a ponytail. And I'm just going to slip this back on so that way it doesn't, I love, the wig doesn't lift. Now, like I was saying, I could have went ahead and definitely plucked the hairline a little bit more had I known, but... For those of you guys who don't know how to do that, you don't really need to with the wigs from Genesis Wigs. And this is what it looks like up in one of those high ponytails. So you can do different styles with a 360 unit. It's up to you. The options are endless, girl. You know, hello. And I prefer it down. But anyway, you guys, I will post all of the information for Genesis Wigs down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have an amazing day. Stay blessed and safe. Stay divine and delicious. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.